Today we are taking a closer look at the brand new Harley Benton ST Modern Plus guitar series and compare the specs a little bit to the uh, Fusion line. This week the beautiful people of Harley Benton they uh, announced or they released a new uh, product line which is called the Harley Benton ST Modern Plus. It's a uh, kind of a hot rodded Strat guitar which maybe many people like um, and uh, of course still I couldn't get this new model and um, honestly I don't know if I will get it I think maybe I will buy one just to try it out but honestly I'm quite happy with the Fusions and today I would like to take a look at the specs with you from their uh, homepage and compare the specs to what the Fusion already had here we have the Modern Plus series. As you can see, uh, there are different colors. Also available for left hand handers. And uh, also they have a little bit different specs, I think. Uh, so here's one with a, uh, I think another kind of a fretboard, fretboard wood also here. As these look like they have the roasted maple. And also, these are the most expensive ones here with this uh, flat maple. So uh, let's choose this one. Let's try out if we can get to the English English language here. There you go. Okay. So as you can see, it's a strut shaped guitar, uh, HSH configuration. And um, if we take a closer look here, um, can see that um, they have locking tuners <clears throat> also they have this little uh, cutoff here the neck joint which is nice and what else 22 frets truss rod wheel here so okay let's take this picture and from what we can see um, there is a uh, tremolo, which is a two-point tremolo, I think, as you can see here. So here I'm holding my uh, Harley Benton uh, Fusion guitar HSH configuration because I thought this would maybe be the closest to the uh, closest Fusion ver to the new line. We have also a two-point tremolo here, which is a Wilkinson bridge, which I'd say already it's a perfect two-point tremolo for me um, besides um, the, uh, the Floyd Rose. So I don't know why they switched to another here and what I particularly like about the Wilkins bridge is that it's very comfortable for your hand. No sharp edges, very, uh, very round and um, yeah so it's way different from a usual strut um, tremolo so I don't see the benefit or that is this is an improvement they have Tesla pickups here humbucker uh, and single coils as this guitar has Roswell pickups and uh, honestly I like the Roswell pickups they are very versatile great for cleans and crunch tones for high gains they are also great but um my experience was that you have to adjust the input stage of your amp or your modeling unit that you can get best results. They can sound a little bit harsh if you don't adjust uh, the input stage. But um, I have some Harley Benton guitars with Tesla pickups. Uh, the uh, SC, I think, which is their uh, attempt on the uh, this Paul copy. Uh, Tesla pickups, they also sound fine. They don't have this harshness like um, the Roswell pickups but uh, in the SC they're not splittable so I don't know anything about their uh, split tone which is great here in the Roswell pickups and um, also I don't know their single coils of course I uh, I've seen that this guitar is, comes also with the uh, split option and I think from my experience with, with the Tesla pickups I think they they will sound great 
are they better than the Rosal pickups? Well, that is it's a matter of choice in my opinion. Um, not a very big improvement in my opinion. Uh, what else? Five-way toggle, I think. Um, and the split option. Again, you have this here. Five-way toggle, the split option. Uh, this is the older version of the Fusion, which has this mini toggle here for splitting the humbuckers. Um, the new versions come with a push-pull knob. Both okay for me. I tried out this uh, Fusion guitar, which is available with a single coil here instead of the humbucker, the neck position. So HSS for uh, HSS, like the uh, the new modern line. And um, I prefer this here because this humbucker in the neck position sounds so great uh, in the split mode. Also, you can use it for leads in the full humbucker mode. So I prefer that. I um, <clears throat> also would like to mentioned that this has 24 frets as the new line has only 22 frets and of course I prefer 24 frets that's also a matter of choice I think um, but the other thing is a single coil here behind the 24th fret will not sound like a strat it sounds a little bit different and also the fusion um, that comes with the HSS configuration has 24 frets so uh, there are some fusions with 22 frets but I think the one in the uh, HSS configuration, they come only with 24 frets. So if you are, if you are looking for a Strat that has this typical uh, neck uh, single coil sound, which you can only get if it is mounted behind a 22nd fret, then maybe the new one, I think, without trying it, I think it will be closer. You have the uh, truss rod action wheel, very nice. I wouldn't miss, uh, I would miss it if it was not there. I had it before here. So, uh, yeah. Until now, I cannot see uh, the big benefit of uh, new guitar as far as the specs go that we discussed before. Of course, this guitar, uh, the new one has the uh, this pick guard here, which I personally don't like, but, um, yeah, it's a, it's an optical thing, so maybe many people like it. And uh, let's take a look at the headstock. So uh, they have locking tuners. Also, this guitar has locking tuners, but not the Harley Benton branded. These are go-tos, I think. Nothing wrong with that work. Great. And also, you don't have a locking nut. Also here you don't have it, which is the biggest issue for me with this guitar. Um, if you are using the uh, whammy bar heavily, which I do from time to time, it can get a little bit out of tune. It's not nothing, uh, nothing really, not not really a big issue. But if you're playing this guitar live, uh, you will definitely hear that in your in ears. At least I could hear it, and it was really annoying. So. For that reason, I prefer the one, uh, the Fusions with the uh, locking nut and the Floyd Rose. Again, if you don't use the tremolo, uh, it's okay. Then maybe you don't need to care about that. Also, um, this guitar had only one of this, uh, I don't know, string rolling trees, roller trees. Uh, the new version of the Fusion has two of these. Honestly, no benefit from these as far as the tuning stability goes in my opinion and uh, the, this guitar here as you can see it has maybe the string trees I don't know if that makes a difference anyway so um, another thing I'd like to mention is that you have this nice uh, cut off here or um, yeah, at the neck joint which is something which I really wish the Fusion would have because it's a little bit, um, the neck is not that thin, it's, uh, it's nice, you have something in your hands, but if you are going to the 24th fret, uh, this will get a little bit in the way. So I don't know um, how, how deep this cutoff is here because I couldn't play this guitar, but I think it's an improvement over the uh, Fusion. And I wish the Fusion would come with that. Okay, so 
let's look at the uh, specs here. Body American Alder, I don't know, I assume it's the same. Roasted flame Canadian maple, bold on neck. Yeah, well, we have also roasted maple neck and fretboard here. I don't know if it's com Canadian maple or some shit, but anyway. I personally prefer the ebony fretboard. It sounds better in my opinion. But unfortunately, they don't offer uh, these guitars uh, with the ebony fretboard and at least not all models anymore. Canadian maple with rounded edges, fingerboard, rounded edges. Well, I don't know what that means um, because fingerboard is, it's not sharp or I don't know. I have to play that. Never had any problems with the fretboard here. So um, this didn't say rounded fretboard edges, but no problem with that. But maybe it's an improvement. Dot fingerboard inlays, nice. Okay, we have that here. Uh, fluorescent neck markings. That is a benefit of the new model because here these uh, markers, you cannot see them in the dark. Compound fingerboard radius. Uh, I think this guitar doesn't have a compound radius. So um, if you like compound radiuses, well, that is an improvement. I personally uh, think I would also prefer the compound radius. I have it on a couple of other guitars. It's nice, uh, feels nice. Uh, yeah. Scale length, nut width, okay. Graphite nut, hmm. Actually, I don't know if this guitar has a graphite nut. I think no, so maybe that is a benefit um, as far as the tuning stability goes. Double action truss rod with adjustment wheel, yeah. Uh, you have at least a wheel here, double action, I think also, I don't know. Um, neck profile D, thickness, okay. I think everything about the neck, uh, I have to play the guitar to, uh, to give you my honest opinion about that. By the way, I'm not biased at all uh, or paid for these reviews. Um, I'm giving you my honest opinion. And uh, of course I like the fusions, but um, I would uh, definitely tell you if I find, would find something better on other guitars. So um, not paid or sponsored by Harley Benton at all. And no other companies, by the way. So everything I'm showing you in my videos is uh, paid with my own money. Uh, stainless steel frets. Okay, we have them here with the rounded edges. Well, that is new, the rounded edges. I know there are some brands uh, on Amazon which are offering these, like the Ur guitars. Uh, I saw them one time or played them. It's nice, felt nice. So here, uh, there's nothing wrong with the edges. They are not sharp or uh, yeah, you don't hurt yourself. But maybe it's a nice, nice, uh, option if you have rounded edges, fretboard edges. Maybe a little improvement. Pickups, yeah, we talked about that before. Tesla brick up, uh, pickups, volume control, tone control with push-pull. Okay, that is a similar here, five-way switch. Pickguard, okay, I don't like that. I said it before. Two point set Z, zero C, full contact tremolo. Honestly, I don't see that to be a big improvement over the Wilkins Bridge, if at all, because this is, a, as I said, it's very comfortable. Uh, locking machine heads with Harley Benton logo. Okay, yeah, we talked about that. The color, Flame Bangle Burst. Yeah, you get the Fusion also in the Flame Bangle Burst. I have this uh, HSH with the Rosted Maple Neck also, uh, but not in this room, so I took the blue one. Actually, I think they have the blue one here. Yeah. Which should be maybe the same color like this guitar, but um, yeah, they always look, look different on the picture than in reality, especially the blue ones. Okay. Um, I think this guitar has the similar features uh, or if not the same. Yes, so let's look at some of the other models. So uh, there are some with, which are a little bit cheaper. Again, it's switching to German, sorry for that. 
Let's take the black one because I, I really like black guitars. Okay, as you can see here, you have the, uh, the pickup cover. Also Tesla pickups, Tesla, Tesla, maybe the same pickups. Everything the same, uh, the fretboard is different. Let me change to English here. Because I don't know how it is called in English. There you go, laurel with rounded edges, okay. Yeah. Don't know anything about laurel and how that sounds. Looks like uh, ebony a little bit more or at least rosewood. If it sounds like rosewood or ebony, I would choose this one. The black pickguard looks <laughs> classier to me. Uh, because it's not, has not this, uh, it doesn't have this toilet top. Uh, toilet top look, as I would call it. Other than that, I think these are the same. Uh, the same features. So, what is my conclusion? I think um, the biggest... Uh, Biggest improvement, uh, which I'd expect, is this um, neck joint here and maybe the frets, but I have to try that out. Compound radius is also nice. Um, I do hope that they add some of the features here, at least in the Fusion line uh, in the future. So maybe also these uh, glowing points here, neck markers. It's nice if you're playing live. Optical wise, I definitely prefer the fusions and also uh, as far as the flexibility goes, this one is unbeatable here with the HSH configuration and the push-pull option. Really nice. So, um, also the big, big, biggest downside why I wouldn't use the, uh, the new guitars is I think because they have only 22 frets. And as I'm playing 24 frets, 99, percent of my time I am always getting confused when I'm playing a 22 fret guitar. I think um, it's more or less uh, an optical issue which model to choose for most people. Um, playing wise they feel great, they are also versatile here are these fusions but um, maybe some people like the classical Strat uh, look and feel a little bit more than these uh, power strat hot rod thing here like the fusions have so I I get it why they released this new product line and actually I I also would give them a big thumbs up for releasing something with uh, which is not that terribly cheap um, that they could add a little bit more higher quality uh, quality um, components in every aspect. So as far as fret goes, pickups, uh, bridge, uh, look and because some uh, some of the cheaper lines, for example, the CST or um, CSTs are great, but um, there are some things which I would wish they would offer, which they don't do because I think it's a, uh, a marketing issue that the guitar would be a little bit more expensive. Uh, for example, if they would add the uh, this Wilkins Bridge or Floyd Rose on the CST. Then I think I would play these a lot more, but um, yeah, they don't offer these. I personally would pay more for a guitar which has all my features than a uh, yeah, guitar which is cheaper, but uh, which doesn't have some features which I prefer. And these Harley Benton guitars are still very uh, budget friendly. As you can see here, 342 pounds, British pounds. Uh, in Europe, it's, I think, 399 euros. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'm really curious about your opinions about these new product line. Is it good? Is it bad? What do you wish from Harley Benton to, to offer in the future? And, uh, yeah, as soon as I get one of these new guitars, I will make a video and show you um, if they're really worth the money. So that's it for today. See ya.